Okay, just showing a little bit of a demo of Ubuntu phone operating system. I've installed it on Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Installation was easy on a, from an Ubuntu desktop. Just added a repository and it downloads and installs automatically. So you can see it's still booting. Um, takes a, just a few moments to boot. And then I'll be able to take you on a quick tour. This is a development, a developer preview branch, uh, which I think was released at the end of February. It's mid-March now. There's the lock screen. So we're finally up and running. The uh, distribution comes with some uh, contacts and media preloaded, kind of default stuff, so you have something to look at. You can get past the lock screen by sliding from outside the, um, the screen area. This is the main home screen. So you can see it combines apps, favorite people, messages, music, and stuff. It's one of five home screens. So if you swipe from left to right, you can see this one's just about apps. Uh, there's a, an app store, stuff to down, you can download from. You can also look at videos, some nice scrolling stuff there. We can go back, the main home screen, keep going. There's people, messages and stuff, and there's music. So those are the five home screens, um, but you can also access um, applications by sliding in from the left. Uh, just hit the gallery application there. Just going to take a moment to load up the events. So you can see some pictures that have been stored on there. It comes with some downloaded ones. Um, again, you just select from the left, find some other things. So you can open a browser, Facebook, camera, and stuff like that. They're all in there. This one, the bottom, is the home screen. You can slide between running apps by sliding from the right. So that brings back our gallery that we had, and that's the last one. So if I opened a browser, for example, this is working on a Wi-Fi network. I haven't tried it on 3G networks yet. Um, but it's a little bit slow to come up here. You can see the progress bar at the bottom there in blue. Very small. I don't know what browser they're using. It seems to be unbranded. It's probably based on WebKit, which seems to be uh, embedded within Qt. The whole uh, user interface is built with Qt, uh, Qt5. And so you can develop apps which will run cross-platform. That's the idea of Ubuntu have, that you can develop apps that will run on their desktop Unity, which uses Qt, or on the phone OS. So there's their homepage there. You slide up from the bottom to get uh, things that are related just to this app. So in this case, it's uh, the URL. And the last thing I want to show you is the settings. So by sliding from the top, you can get access to these settings that are here. So um, network settings, you can see it's connected, batteries on 57%, look, recent messages, etc. You can drop that down to the bottom and drop it back up again. Okay, local, local to the app switch between apps, find your list of apps, go back to the home page, etc. Ubuntu Phone OS. My main impression at the moment, it's great, I really like it, and I'd love to be using it more. It's a little bit slow, particularly switching between apps, uh, and of course there aren't that many apps uh, to use at the moment, but I'm really looking forward to using it in the future. Thank you. Bye.